Hey, what's up, guys? We're back again with a new meta deck that has tunneled its way to the top of ladder. This Mighty Miner deck is unbelievably broken, and I've won so many games that I genuinely don't deserve to win. If you don't have Mighty Miner, use Valkyrie instead. And if you're gonna do that, swap Mega Minion for Inferno Dragon so you still have that devastating damage potential. On the surface, it might look like a standard graveyard freeze deck, but when you dig a little bit deeper, this deck is so much more. When you rush through with the Mighty Miner on offense and use your spells to eliminate all their distractions, this is a deck that your opponents will abhor. When they try to distract you again, you can use your ability and your freeze and do whatever you please. They'll have to go for multiple layers of distractions to stop Mighty Miner Freeze with arrows, and a lot of decks just simply don't have that. And when their towers are low, the Graveyard Freeze direct damage will deal a finishing blow. Let's go jump straight some games and assert dominance with the new best Graveyard Freeze deck. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of the daily videos. Thanks to everyone that's supporting the daily videos with Creator Code SirTag. Let's get it. So this guy's apparently got nerves of steel. He's a steel player, or maybe he's ready to go and steal my deck because it's so freaking good. I'm gonna let the Ice Spear connect because it's only one elixir and it's barely gonna do any damage. I'm waiting for real stuff here. Oh, wait. Are you actually an Expo player? Are you what we've been pretending to be all along? I think that might be the case. I mean, he's dropping Skeletons, Ice Spirit, Archers. It's gotta be that. Who's that Pokemon? Got a Valkyrie in cycle, so I kind of want to go for a freeze on that. Especially since the Mega Minion isn't going to die, and we can eat the Archer's damage because it's inconsequential. He's going to have to go for Skeletons or Ice Spirit to go and stop the Mega Minion. But the Mega Minion's locked and loaded, and that Ice Spirit missed everything. <laughs> Let's go, but you can't miss this damage, man. Okay, so he's going to go for an Expo. It's Mighty Miner doesn't have much HP, so that's one bad thing about this deck that if you're playing against Expo, it might be tough to kill the Expo. All right, uh, yeah, he's going to be able to do a lot of damage here. I want to go and click the bomb because that's the only way I can do any uh, semblance of damage to the Expo. If I try to use the Mighty Miner to damage it down, well, the Mighty Miner would have tickled it because it takes a lot of time to ramp up the value. We're currently winning the game, but not by much because the matchup is horrible. This is one of the few really bad matchups for the deck. You have to catch them in a bad card cycle where they don't have archers in cycle, and maybe they split them, then go for your graveyard, and then freeze on whatever Valkyrie or Knight they drop. It would have been slightly better if this guy decided to go and run a different version of the deck, and maybe he would have, like, you know, a Knight instead of having the Valkyrie, because the Valkyrie does splash damage, and that's not fun to play into. All right, we're going to go in for this, and I'm going to go in for a freeze on defense against the Tesla, so then hopefully the Expo is going to die. I don't think this is going to work. How did that work? Uh, I don't know how I stayed alive there. That was just me trying to do some big brain defense and praying, and we found a way, so it worked. We're chilling here. We're chilling here. If we can hit double elixir, maybe we can get enough tanks to make this happen. I need people to kill that. So I'm going to go Mighty Miner in the same side. I want to go in for Mega Minion and then arrows on the archers that he's going to drop. Let's go. We knew it. We knew it. If we can kill the Valkyrie quickly, we can still make this happen, I believe. If we go for Skeletons, we should be able to kill those very easily with the archers. And then maybe I can get a freeze on the tower. Maybe I don't need to go in for the graveyard after all. Maybe I can just use Mighty Miner as my win condition. No, that's not working. A Mega Minion you need to put on a lot of work though, bro. Please. A bit more damage for me. A little bit more damage. Just a little bit more love. Okay, he went for a Tesla. This is horrible for me. I'm going to have to go in for like uh, Barbaro with the Mega Minion and then have to go Archers afterward. Fortunately, we were able to hit the Ice Spirit, so that was pretty big. How are we defending this? I have no idea. This doesn't make any sense. I literally don't have units that are able to soak up Expo shots, but it's working. Okay, I'm going to go in for a Graveyard with the Mighty Miner. He's going to rock it at the exact same time. Yo, you literally are a Steel player. You've got Nerves of Steel, and I don't think they're actually well-founded. I don't think that was a good decision. <laughs> oh my gosh. No way. We're able to beat Expo. Let's freaking go. That is such a tough matchup. So if you guys lose it, do not feel bad. Maybe you guys can somehow piece together a defense. Went in for tombstones, mega minions, archers, and arrows. And then maybe freezing when the stuff gets real dicey. But you can't count on it. And I got to be 100% transparent with you guys. Because this deck has a lot of great matchups. And every deck has some weakness. But I felt like a fire Pokemon in this game. Because I was definitely this steel player's weakness. After wandering our way through that miserable expo matchup. Now we're sitting at 9,000 in the world. Alright, we got a game against Patriz. So definitely want to see what he's up to. This deck is dominant when you get a Mighty Miner on the tower. So that's what we're going to be aiming to accomplish. Also, if you cycle archers in the back, people are like, oh, this dirty Expo player. Why is he running Expo? And then you're already in their head rent-free. Well, I guess not rent-free. You're having to spend three elixir rent, which isn't too bad. Those archers are going to be able to have a permanent stay on this map. They're going to stay alive for a while. Okay, so I can go in for the Mighty Miner ability. 
I kind of want to do that right now because he's going to go and drop something to finish it off. Don't want to go in for a freeze because the Mighty Miner freeze is like a card combination that you want to be saving for surprise. Otherwise, you know, they'll be accounting for it. Okay, so I'm going to go for a graveyard now since we are up a lot of Elixir. And maybe I can go for a freeze depending on what's happening here. Yeah, if he goes in for any spell, we're definitely going to freeze. Let's go! That's incredible! The Mega Minion is actually being like, yo, I'm the Mighty Miner now. I'll take the entire tower. I'm flying high in the sky while all of your opponents die. And look at that. A minute in, and we're already set to win. I don't think this guy can come back. He hasn't touched my tower. I've got Mighty Miner. I've got Tombstone. I've got every defense available in the book. A few cycles later. And it looks like this guy just left to let his towers cook. He knew it was over, and he didn't want to waste anyone's time. After absolutely dominating that dude, now we're 8,000 in the world. Hey, this guy finished 800 in the world. He is flexing that stuff on his banner. So we'll see what we can do here. He's going to be a very good player, so I want to give him the respect he deserves and as many skeletons as we can spawn. Okay, Goblin Gang's out of cycle. If he's running log bait, that's usually his best answer to graveyard. So if he doesn't have that in cycle, I'm going to go for Mighty Miner because also not a good distraction when you aren't going to have that in cycle, right? You can't do anything when your Mighty Miner answers are out of cycle and we go in for a freeze with the Mighty Miner. So I'm psyched for this. I'm actually going to click the ability and go other side so then you lock onto skeletons and then we can go in for a graveyard here. And oh my gosh, it's three Musketeers. Ah... Uh, Ah, uh, I don't know if this is going to work, guys. This is looking really bad. That one archer is putting in some damage, though, and that's a lot of graveyard skeletons locked and loaded. Are you kidding me? The archer needs a promotion. She just killed a musketeer all by herself. She has half of three elixir, and she killed a four elixir cost card. Wait, super easy arrows? Let's go and snag that. And we're chilling. Wait, the barbarian barrel just left us. I missed the part where that's my problem. Come on, man. You... Probably you just finished your finals in school and you're like, bruh, I, I don't have to deal with this anymore. But bruh, you had a lot more for us to need. We needed to shut you down. All right, Mirrored Up Piggy is a pretty weird deck to play against Tree Musketeers with Mirror. I don't think that Mirror is a very good card right now, but I expect it to get buffed in the future. Clash Trial is never going to let a card be trashed for too long. If you guys are ever upgraded a card and you're like, man, this card's garbage, just realize that Clash Trial looks through the win rates, they look through the play rates, and then they buff it, and then most of the time it gets over buffed. So just stay tuned for that. You might have like absolutely nothing good for Christmas, but Clash Trial will give you a Christmas present eventually. So this guy is going to go in for another Mighty Miner. We know that he's got a three Musketeer deck, so I'm psyched for this one. Unfortunately, I have no way of really killing that, so I'm going to go in for a graveyard here. Wait, is my Mighty Miner going to win that? Oh, that worked out a lot better than I thought. We can easily arrows on top of the Goblin Gang and also hit the Elixir Collector, so that's worth it. Because the Mega Minion is going to lock immediately on the tower. And then if we kill the Elixir Collector, I mean, <laughs> that would be nice, but we got him to spawn way more stuff. So we're just going to go in for another tombstone. And I was hoping that the skeletons would spawn onto the, the elixir collector after killing the tower, but it didn't really matter. I mean, with 44 seconds remaining, the guy is just going to spam like a savage. So I need to defend this. If I can stop this musketeer push, I will win the game. It's all going to come down to this, guys. Can we make it happen for the memes? I'm going to set up a barbarian barrel on this side, and then I'm going to go in for a tombstone. And I think we should be fine. So I'm going to go and click the Mighty Miner ability so that we can get onto the Musketeers as well. And I don't want to go and drop any extra Elixir besides, like, a Freeze. I think Freeze would be nice because then we can go for Barbarian Barrel and hit the Musketeer. And all of those little piggies are right in alignment. He's going to go and spam the other side, though. Okay, a uh, little bit sketchy. I think that's not going to be able to do enough damage as long as we can arrow on the Goblin Gang. The piggies aren't able to put in enough work, but the Goblins surely would. So we walk away with a win here. A little bit sketchy at the end from our friends spamming in every single direction. But as you guys can see, no matter what, your multiple spells will shut down all their spam and save you in the end. Even though we had absolutely no way of damaging down the Elixir Collector against that three Musketeer deck, he had no way of winning. And we've pushed up to 7,000 in the world. All right, we got a game against Nicholas. Is he going to be Saint Nick? Is he going to give me the best matchup imaginable for Christmas? Or is he going to give me a horrible hard counter? We're going to have to wait and see. I beat Expo earlier, which is probably the worst matchup for this deck. So we'll see what happens here. I think even Electro Giant is easier because you can go and kite it with the Tombstone and just make sure that the Electro Giant gets pulled all the way around the map. So that's like not even that scary. He's going to have Phoenix. Oh, is this actually Electro Giant speaking of it? <laughs> this could be fun. All right, so I'm going to go and click the Mighty Miner ability depending on what happens. Oh, no. This guy is either going to have Giant Graveyard or it's going to be a Sparky deck. I am going to go and click the Bomb so that we can knock back the Phoenix just for a little bit. And he's going to go for a Balloon. Wait, what the heck? Bro, I wasn't expecting this at all. Both of my anti-air cards are out of cycle. I'm going to go for Barbarian Barrel here. Not because I want to be able to kill the Phoenix Egg because I knew the Phoenix Egg was going to die anyway. But because I want to have a little bit of a tank. Jeez, that Balloon gave him a hit as well. This is looking bad. 
If I go for Mighty Mire on the other side, it will kill the skeletons, but at the same time... Ah! Skeletons! It's uh, gonna make me go and click the ability when I don't want to. Alright, so at least it's gonna stay in the right-hand side, so then we would have been able to stop any bridge spam. Like, if you went in for a giant, he would have not been able to do that because it would have went right into the Mighty Miner. That was good for us. Alright, so the dude is gonna go in for a bowler as well. What is this wacky, weird deck, man? Oh my gosh. Alright, we're gonna have to go in for a freeze. Just last second so then the bowler doesn't hit anything. And then I'm gonna use my Barbarian Barrel to finish off the uh, Phoenix Egg. So then the Phoenix Egg doesn't respawn and the bowler should also die. So that was the worst giant ever for him. Very good for us. It's gonna be a plus two trade. However, maybe it was with the intention to bait out all of our counters to the balloon. That was a possibility for him. Because if we don't have a good answer to the balloon and he goes and spams us, we'd be screwed. The fireball and zap. He spent his entire elixir bar there. Okay, so I'm expecting our homie to go in for a skeleton army to go encounter our mighty miner. So if I predict that, I go for arrows. Or I don't even have to predict it. If I just go for arrows and then keep it in the right spot. We can use the Mighty Miner and save our bomb and then go on the other side and then use our Freeze. I don't know if you guys are picking up what I'm putting down here, but with Double Elixir, we can make this happen for sure. So we're going to go for arrows when he goes in for the Skeleton Army. We're not going to go and click the bomb yet. We're going to go and click the bomb on his second counter here. And then we're going to go for a Freeze on his third counter. What you going to do? You have to drop something. You have to drop something. Let's go! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's the entire freaking tower. This deck is so unfair. See that? You can like make a maze for your opponent and then they'll be amazed by the fact that they can't counter the Mighty Miner. With Freeze, that's your real win condition. You might think that, you know, the Graveyard is a great win condition, but Mighty Miner Freeze is simply better. It's built different. It's straight up unfair. We were able to bait out all of his answers. And then because he was at such a low elixir amount, since his cost of his cards are so high, he wasn't able to spread even any bit of elixir to be able to defend the last Mighty Miner ability in the other side. And that's why you want to use your arrows predominantly for over your first ability. Because if you can minimize their bait cards with the arrows, then you can save your ability for later and then switch sides and have even more opportunities of swerving and snagging the win. If there was ever any doubt, Mighty Miner is beyond broken and by far the best card in Clash Royale. Mighty Miner has allowed us to drill our way up to 6,000 in the world. To jump into this game, this guy is a part of the community, so we gave him the respect he deserved. We decided not to go for the Mighty Miner at the start, we went for a Tombstone. We see a Miner from our opponent, and then also a Fly Machine. Fly Machine is problematic for us. He's gonna have multifarious anti-air answers to us, so this Mega Minion is probably not going to accomplish much. Wait, it can two-tap the Fly Machine and it will be able to pull back the Phoenix. Never mind, that accomplished everything that I needed in life, and so much more. I can go in for a graveyard here aggressively, and hopefully it doesn't go towards the tombstone. I should have dropped it off to the outside corner so that it bypassed the tombstone. I'm gonna freeze because it seems like he doesn't want to drop a spell. If I can kill the skeleton king with skeletons, is he really the king of skeletons? Yeah, I guess he is. He was able to weather the storm and stay alive. I want to go in for the mighty miner before it crosses the river so then he's not gonna click the ability. It's actually gonna die. That's so unfair. Oh, the one thing that I dislike about this is I have to go and drop my ability into more skeletons in the other side. That just isn't feeling fair, man. If I arrows this, this also isn't great, but I am going to get tower damage with it. Might have been risky because I'm telegraphing my play. He could go for a miner in front of the skeleton dragons. Thank goodness he didn't. Because I would have had to go for archers after the skeleton dragons locked on if he had minored my tower. And then I would have taken an ineffable amount of damage there. We know it's a Lob Hound deck with skeleton king and miner, so it's not that scary if he just goes in for his miner by itself every time. Like, I don't even have to respond to that. I don't really care. Hopefully he Lob Hounds as soon as I go in for the graveyard at the exact same time. No, he goes in for a tombstone. He's wisened up. Wait, I think I can just freeze the tombstone so it can't spawn skeletons. Am I able to kill this tombstone and kill the phoenix and hopefully don't have the phoenix respawn again? No, it's going to respawn. Dude, stop. Let me go. Let me go! It's aight, though. It's aight. We kind of expect that to happen sometimes. I'm going to go for a mighty miner off to the side so it goes and walks directly onto the skeleton king. Even if he drops the ability, it's kind of a waste. I'm going to go and click my Mighty Miner ability, hopefully. If that doesn't happen, I can go for Archers here and then go Mega Minion afterward. This is like, as long as we're able to piece apart his offense, it's not really going to amount to anything. Had to kill that as quickly as we could, though. Yo, he's expecting me to go Graveyard, but I'm just going to arrow on everything, and then my Archers are going to arrow him again. Bro, let's get it. That Skeleton Dragons are roasted and toasted, my dude. I can go in for a Mighty Miner here, so then it should be able to tank for the Skeleton Dragons again. I'm going to go and click the ability, and then I'm going to go for a Mega Minion on top of the... The big annoying fly machine yet again. So that card is like. Genjutsu of that level doesn't work on me. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. You didn't just let that happen. You didn't just let that happen. You can't push it off the tower. The Mighty Miner knows what it wants in life and it wants to win. Oh, my God. 
Dude, I'm telling you right now, the card is just unbelievably overpowered. If your opponent goes in for a Mega Knight, it can't even knock back the Mighty Miner. He went in for the Skeleton King, which is one of the thickest cards in existence. And the Mighty Miner is like, nah, bro. You can't stop me from winning this game. And you guys might say it's a shame and that Supercell is to blame, but I believe that the Mighty Miner, after being bad for so long, deserves its fame. <laughs> I'm probably going to be playing this deck a lot at the end of the season. We've tunneled our way to the top at 5,000 in the world. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more daily videos, and have an incredible rest of your day. Oh,